Hey, what's up guys, Theo here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use uh, React 16.3, the new Context API. So if you're not familiar with Context, Context is basically what powers stuff like uh, Redux, and it allows us so that we can take basically our top level data or data store and have it passed down through all the components in a more declarative-like way instead of uh, going through that sort of mundane and very sort of repetitive uh, version of passing all of our all of our um, all of our props down repeatedly, which just gets uh, very uh, duplicative very fast. So uh, the sort of API, the syntax for this is just called create context. You get it off the top level import from React. You pass this an object, um, and basically this will be the default. Uh, we're not going to do that, but sort of think of this as like the create store in a way. Um, that's how I like to think about it. Create store similar to Redux, maybe. Um, so anyways, that's our theme context. That's the example that they gave, right? And we can do that. Uh, we're just gonna call this, um, you know, maybe like root context, you know, or like application context, whatever you wanna call it, it's fine. Uh, and again, it's, it's, a, it's an object. Um, so I guess, you know, you could also have that case thing. It doesn't really matter. We'll just keep it like that because that's how the docs are. Um, so let me get started on here. I just want to give this an initial state similar to Redux. And I just want to give it a user's array. Um, it's just going to be Theo. Very simple. Rick and James. Rick and James. Okay. So that's our state. Uh, so next, what you can sort of see that I'm doing is I'm uh, destructuring provider and consumer off of our application context. Let me just change this to application context. Uh, so the provider is similar to the provider in Redux, which is we're gonna wrap our top level component in this. Um, and the consumer is almost like the event listener that's going to basically be a subscription to that store or to this provider context. So let's sort of look at what these things are. Let's look at what the application context is. Um, and I'll show you guys. So create React to open. So again, it's a React context. It's got this consumer, it's got the provider. Current value, default value, you can sort of see if I give it this empty object and I refresh here. Um, let's look. So now, again, default is an empty object. We can just say name is Theo. All right, let's refresh one more time. And there it is. So that's the current and the default value. So it exposes the consumer and the provider to us. So again, I'm just going to use it with this right here. And I'm going to implement a few methods to sort of show you guys how to work with this. Okay. Um, so again, we're just looking at the very basic use cases for this. So now what I can do is I want to wrap everything in this provider. So I'm going to say provider. And the value that provider needs is almost like the store. It's a value the initial state. So I'm going to say initial state. I'm going to hit save. And again, we're not really getting anything in here, but if we go to our Redux developer consoles, we have this app and we have the contact provider and it's got this users array of three. Cool. And that's its value right there. Awesome. Uh, so now we need a consumer. So I'm going to go ahead and build this utility function, which is just going to be, um, it's just going to be called component from UI. From UI, it's going to take in um, a UI and a name. And from that, uh, what we're going to do basically is just build up a class based component. So we're going to say uh, return class extends component. Obviously, this is React specific. Um, I say static display name is going to be, um, I'll just say name, right? Um, and then what we can do now is basically go ahead and, again, you could put the name right here. I'm just putting it down here, it doesn't matter. Um, and then what I'm gonna do right here is um, actually go ahead and put it from UI. Let me see, how do I wanna do this? I will give it, um, or no, I don't want to make it a class, sorry. I'm just going to make it, yeah, I'll just make it a class. Um, turn class name, 
and then no. Yeah, extends component. And then I'll give it the render method and it can just return the UI. I'll just wrap it in some divs. Div, div, and UI. Cool. Okay, so let's try this out and let's see, console log component from UI. Uh, we'll just say the UI is div welcome to the jungle. And we'll just say component is called jungle. Okay, let's look at this, make sure this works. Let me extend out here. Okay, cool. So that seems to work all right. And I'll just say const jungle component from UI. And let's, let's see if we can render this inside of here. Jungle. Make sure functions are not valid and component from UI. Ah, oh, sorry. Let me say jungle. Jungle. Let's render this out. Okay, cool. So that works. That's pretty simple utility function right there. Component from UI might be overkill. Anyways, so let's go ahead and build up a few of these. We'll just say header equals component from UI. And I'll just say header, header, and uh, I'm the header, and um, say header, and we'll add on one for footer right here. Footer, 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 footer. And there's different ways you could do this. Could be a little bit much. It's just sort of experimenting with a utility function. And the footer, um, let's go ahead and plop these in here. Header, header, and footer. Let's look at these, make sure these render correctly on the header on the footer. Let's look here in our React tools. Cool, so that works. Um, so now next what we need to do is um, wrap these components in the consumer. So what we can do that is basically I'm going to um, create another utility method right here, which is going to be a const with consumer. So what I can actually do now is build up another method, and this will just take in um, this will take in a base component, which is going to be the component, the header, the footer, and we're going to return class um, extends component. We'll say static display name equals um, with consumer base component. And then finally, what we will do is go ahead and um, we will go ahead and uh, render this and we will return basically the consumer, consumer. Um, and finally, we will say, uh, what do we want to do now? Return the consumer and then we'll return base component, let's stop props, let's stop state, let's make sure this works, let me try component from UI, set with consumer, okay, let's render this again, let's see what we're getting, render is not a function, okay, so let's look real quick, Dang. So now, actually, what we need to do is go ahead and so consumer in this consumer, we're actually getting the context. Um, so what I can actually do here is um, go ahead and render this out. So I can say, um, let's see, what can I do? Run it from UI. Da da da. I can console log. So props. Render function. Okay, so this is past the context. And 
Finally, what we can do is go ahead and return this base component. Pass that on there. And let me see. Okay. Okay, cool. So that re renders to us the base component. Um, and now let's see. React. What I want to do now with consumer context go consumer. So yeah, that's passing that is what I want to do base component. Oh, sorry. Um, we need to actually say display name. Make sure I got this right. Okay, with consumer header. Okay, and what we can do now is go ahead and uh, pass on. We can pass this down right here. So we can pass uh, dot, 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 context. Do something like that maybe. Consumer context header and again header is being passed now the users okay um, and finally what we can do here is we can go ahead and look at so now we're getting back these users right here as it's updating etc um, and we can actually look at this we're not going to get it initially. Props. Okay, cool. So now what we're getting um, is we can set this and we can say here's the UI, obviously, and now we can you know, do something like json.stringify list.props.users, whatever you want to do. Obviously, there's different ways to compose this. You know, so the footer doesn't have access to it, but we can also give the footer access to this consumer by wrapping it in a call to that. And now we have all of them right there. If we go and change one, uh, Jimmy, update that, then they're all past that down. And again, showing you back here with consumer with footer, wraps the context, which wraps footer users. And obviously you could build this up more so that this UI is, is past this as well, right? Um, whatever you want to do with it, component from UI, um, you know, this could actually be a function, right? So you could actually say, component from UI is a function. Now we're just basically building up more components. It's a function that receives some props and um, it's going to return. Now it's basically just going to return uh, it's going to return this header, right? And we also want to return uh, json.stringify props.users, right? And now what we can do is go ahead and call the UI with um, props.users. So now we're passing everything around still. Sorry, this.props, which we're getting off the context still and UI is not a function. So why is it not a function? With component, component from users, UI is not a function, comes to log UI. Let me make sure we got this correctly. Okay, let's look at this. So it's props. Sure, I got this correct. Component from UI is a function which um, UI props. Let's log props. Let's make sure. And kind of created my own little library here in a way. Let's see. Okay, so it is getting um, the 
the users right there. And oh yeah, so yeah, all, the only thing that's wrong with it now is that this needs to be the function too. So we have that sort of you know pattern right there. We need to add this on to to the footer, right? And I can just say footer and footer. So obviously it's a bit overkill to be honest, but now this all should work. I'm the header, I'm the footer, um, and this stuff props like users, json.stringify, um, and then where is, let's see, let's look at props, users, make sure we're getting this correctly, props, Oh, sorry, props just is the users, yeah, so we'll just call this users, users, and we should be about down here. So obviously there's a lot of composition of different functions that we're building up. Cool, so there you go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this brief introduction to the React 16.3 context. We'll go over a little bit more. So this is a little bit different. Basically, if you've never seen this pattern, really quickly too, this is um, taking advantage of the children, and it's basically saying uh, whatever's in here, call it with this context, right? Which is, um, you know, going to be passed through that consumer component in the render. It's called render props, if you've never seen that pattern. So let's just write that makes use of render props. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Take care.